Hey there, folks. So as most of you know, I am in charge of the Smogon University PO server. Um, and part of that, what actually how I got involved with running the PO server, is that I do the stats every month. I uh, basically, I have these scripts that pour over all the battle logs, and I look at what Pokemon are used, and I tabulate them all into tables. Um, and the reason that this is important is that uh, the Smogon tiers, you know, the OU, UU, RU, NU, is based on usage. Basically, a Pokemon is OU. OU literally means overused. Uh, it means that it's used more than 3.41% of the time uh, on a team. And so basically uh, the way that we do this is that every three months we tabulate the, you know, all the usage for the past three months, do this kind of weighted thing where, you know, the most recent month is weighted heaviest. And then based on that, we generate the new tiers. So uh, it's now, uh, March is now over. So uh, the last time the tiers were updated was January 1st. So it's been three months. And so now we've got new tiers. So before I go into the new tiers, uh, let's first talk about the usage in March uh, of the various Pokemon. So let's start with OU. Um, so basically, uh, Electivire shot to the top of the OU rankings. I mean, you know, people complain, oh, it's Nubivire, but you know, it's really an effective Pokemon, and it's really no surprise that it uh, reclaimed its number one slot. So, uh, number two is Squirtle. Um, makes a lot of sense also. Squirtle is a great rapid spinner. Um, you know, great bulky water once you throw on Eviolite. Um, in fact, okay, so the number three is Quilava. Quilava is just really an awesome, awesome Pokemon as a general concept. Uh, you know, it's cute, it's got a strong fire-type move, you slap a scarf on that thing and you can use Eruption, um, and, you know, why not, why, uh, is Quilava over, um, why Quilava over Typhlosion? Well, you know, I mean, Typhlosion is okay, but let's face it, Quilava is the cuter Pokemon, and that's really the reason you use it. Now, Sunkern at number four, that should come as no surprise to anyone. In fact, I'm a little bit surprised that it didn't go higher. Sunkern is a great grass-type Pokemon, powerful stabs. Uh, in the sun, you know, it's got chlorophyll, uh, I think, it, or maybe it's solar power, I don't remember. But yeah, it's no surprise that it's number four. Grumpig, great dual screener. Um... I, I, you know, I haven't actually uh, been playing OU that much, so I haven't really been seeing how Grumpig's been used. But um, I've been talking to people, and they're like, oh yeah, Grumpig's a great Pokemon. Obviously, top tier OU. Uh, and the final Pokemon in the top six, uh, you know, this is basically, this is actually a really common team. I was looking over the battle logs, and this is actually probably the number one team. You know, you'll see these Pokemon go out together. The number six Pokemon is Chatot. Um... You know, flying type, flying normal, uh, probably the best flying normal, and I know there's a lot of them. Uh, you know, uh, chatter, great chance of confusion. And yeah, so, uh, let's just, let's just look through the top ten. So you got Remoraid here, um, that might have to do with the unbanning of Moody. Uh, I'm not really 100% sure. Bisharp coming in at number nine, uh, number eight. Uh, Chimeco at number nine. Vespiquen. Vespiquen, I mean, it's a queen bee. Why hasn't it been seeing higher usage? earlier. I'm not sure. Fiona is almost certainly because of, um, you know, hydration in the rain. Although, you know, you don't see, it's actually kind of interesting that you see uh, Fiona more than you see rain dance teams. Um, Magic Card pulling in at number 13. Uh, possibly due to the unbanning of Drizzle Swift Swim. It's a real, you know, it's a really deadly Pokemon with its speed so high. Um, Dusk Noir, I guess that's because of the prevalence of uh, Trick Room in the current OU metagame. Okay, so that's enough here. Let's go ahead and look at UU. Um, Noctowl, Combuskin, Jumpluff, Unpheasant, Love Disc, Monferno, uh, Rotom H, Yuxi, uh, Grotal, and Hariyama. I mean, I really don't have to say anything about that. Combuskin, I'm actually really surprised. You know, well, it's it's actually... Um, yeah, okay, so it's 5% off from number one. I'm surprised it's not number one. I mean, uh, it's probably going to be uh, voted on the, in the suspect testing now. Um, you know, because... So, okay, so Blaziken was banned because of speed boost. Not, Combuskin suffers the same problem, you know, is the same threat in UU, so I'm sure that it's going to go borderline in the next uh, suspect voting. Are you? Okay, Cubone... Great Pokemon, uh, no complaints there. Uh, Nidorina, Lyperd, uh, we're mid MS. People realize just how awesome slacking is because everyone's been running, um, you know, befriend, what's it called? Um, 
I think it's Befriend or something, it, or that's a Japanese name. It's that ability that basically, um, you know, copies the ability onto your opponent. Um, skill Swap also has been really, really common in the RU metagame. People have been using it like, whoa. So you send in Slaking, and it, it can just devastate if you switch that incorrectly. Um, Unpheasant, another great normal flying type. I'm actually surprised that it's not going OU or at least UU. Maybe it is. I actually should check that. Um, Radata. I mean, fear is a very viable strategy. Makes sense for it to be number seven. Um, Lickitung, uh, Spiritomb, Licky Licky coming in at eight, nine, and ten. Really don't have to say anything there. Uh, and you met a game. Uh, throw, Marowak, Grand, I mean, nothing really to say here. Why not, why not is surprising? I thought it was banned. Um, but I guess not. Uh, oh well. So, that's that. Uh, Ubers. Okay. Re okay, yeah. Obviously, fear is dominating Ubers. Radata is coming in at number one. Um, I mean, that's just, that should be no surprise to anyone who's played Ubers on the PO server these past few months. So, yeah. Um, Little Cup, Spoink, Venipede, Pichu. All solid threats. Makes sense they're number one. Spoink, I wouldn't have expected it to be over at 42%. Um, Mudkip, seeing a rapid rise, 12.359% uh, usage. Um, but really, you know, Little Cup, you can't talk about it that much. There were only 826 Little Cup battles last month. So really, I mean, how much can you say about that? Um, the additional metagames, okay, so... Um, VGC is being dominated by Darmanitan and Aselgor. Uh, no surprise there. But again, you know, there's really hasn't been that much um, battles in VGC, so you really can't talk too much about it. Dreamworld OU. Illumise, um and Gengar leading the top. Gengar is an amazing Pokemon with its Dreamworld ability, Levitate. You know, it's just... You know, once it gets released, people are... Well, I guess it actually is released because Ghastly is out, so I'm not sure. I guess it hasn't been updated on our servers, and that's why. I really should take care of that. Gengar, you know, it's going to shoot up like, whoa, because of its Dreamworld ability. I mean, Levitate is an awesome ability, and totally beats its regular ability of Levitate. So, yeah. So, based primarily on March's usage, uh, the tiers have been updated. You'll see the list of tier changes in the description. You can also go to the Smogon uh, forums to check it out there. Uh, Enjoy the new metagames, folks.